This is the Bethel Heart of Faith Church in Joe Blow Town, Liberia, a small rural hamlet a short drive from the capital of Monrovia. Even by the standards of the world's worst Ebola epidemic, this small community church has been hit particularly hard. The church's praise and worship leader, Sis Jartu Kekula, fell ill with Ebola in August, her family says. It's easy to see where she would have contracted the virus. Part of her duties included home visits to the sick, where she would place her hands on the victim and pray to the Holy Spirit to release a heavenly intervention. Her family and friends begged her to stop, but she insisted that her God would protect her. On August 29th, she died. She wasn't the first either. First was Tebby Moore, popularly known as Mrs. Moore. When she fell ill early in August, the church director drove her an hour and a half to a hospital. A week later, the director himself was sick. The associate director came to his house to pray. A week later, the associate director was sick too. All three of them are now dead. On a recent Sunday, the church service was sparsely attended with not enough parishioners to fill the first two pews. Reverend Kortu Korler was recently named the acting director. Now he preaches that the Ebola crisis is a test of his congregation's faith. To survive, they will have to remain as faithful as Sis Jartu was. When the power of darkness see they have done their works, and thinking that they are destroying the kingdom of God, God is saying they have done their worst, but I'm ready for my best for you.